In the iOS versus Android debate, there's always one battle that Android wins, and that is customization. Android devices can be customized basically to no end, but one of my favorite areas to customize my phone is the home screen. This video is the start of a new series on this channel where I'll be going over some awesome home screen setups that you can put on your device. Let's get started. So hey everyone, welcome back to Authentic Tech Reviews, and this is my first video in the new series, How to Customize Your Home Screen. So this setup was made using a few different apps. One of them is Lawn Chair Launcher V2. This is, in my opinion, the best and easiest to use launcher for Android that still has enough features to keep you happy. So there is Google Now integration, as well as the Pixel widget. But there's also support for icon packs and lots of customization and blurring options as well. So the next app that you'll need is the Quotes widget app. This is just a simple app that puts a quote on your home screen, refreshes every few hours, tap it, you get a new quote, just some inspiration. Now the third app is the only paid one on this list and it is Delta Icon Pack. Now I just think this is a really clean and nice looking icon pack. And it also comes with a bunch of interesting and nice wallpapers that really complement the icons. So without any further ado, let's get right into the setup. Here it is. So in the middle, I have my eight most used apps. First up is Spotify. I use Spotify just as a convenient music player. It's just has great recommendation. Overall, great app. Highly recommend. Next up is YouTube Studio, which I think basically every YouTuber has for managing their videos and such. After that, I have Messages, this is the default SMS messenger. I use it a lot just for contacting people in general. And then past that is Gmail. I use it for several of my email addresses. It's just I'm used to it now. There's probably better options, but I don't really feel like changing. Now over on the bottom left row, there is Slide for Reddit, which I talked about in my earlier video. Go, th go check that out if you haven't already. There's also Google Keep Notes, which is great because it's cross-platform, easily access it on any web browser. Then of course the Play Store, and Google Photos for managing my photos. I put those apps where they are, just so they're easily accessible with just my one thumb, so I can easily get to all my favorite apps. Below those, near the bottom of the screen, is this little white icon. You might think that it's a shortcut to the app drawer, but actually it is the phone app. And when I give it a little swipe up, it opens up to five more apps that I often use, but not often enough so that they deserve a place on my home screen. Now, this wallpaper is just some clouds. It came from the Delta Icon Pack, as well as these icons are all from the Delta Icon Pack. I customized a few of them because there's often multiple options depending on what icons you have, but overall just very clean and nice looking. Now up in the top third of the screen there is this quotes widget, which gives me a new widget every few hours as I previously mentioned. It's there because I don't need to tap it that much, but it's just a good for eye level viewing, just quick reading. A quick swipe up brings me to the app drawer where I have the search bar, which also has a shortcut to Google Assistant. And then I have folders for all of my apps, such as the Google apps and some utilities, as well as some social media apps. I also have some quick shortcut gestures set up. A double tap brings me to the Sesame search, which has in-app search and web search and searching for apps, but you could also just use Google search if you don't want to pay the $5 for the service. Touching and holding turns off the screen, which is convenient if my phone is on a desk or on a table. And I have it set up so if I swipe the home button while I'm already on the screen, it'll bring me right into the lawn chair launcher settings, which is convenient for quickly changing things. A uh, swipe to the left brings me over to the Google feed so I can get my favorite news stories and interesting technology news, and well, just general stories. And then that's basically all the features of the launcher. It's very clean and minimal, but also very functional. It has everything I need so I can quickly access all the apps and also easily search the web. So if you want to get a similar setup on your phone, I will leave the links to all of these apps down in the description. You can always replace Sesame with just Google search or just an app search, but I think Sesame is a very useful tool for searching within apps and to easily access things. Overall, this is just my favorite setup that I've made on my phone so far, so yeah, check out the links, get them, customize your screen. 
Alright, so that was the home screen setup for the day and the first one of this series. I will probably be posting videos in this playlist about once every three weeks, so leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cool setups. And I will see you in the next video.